Hi everybody and welcome to day 25 of our journey to awesome and coming to you again from on the road uh, traveling from Central California back to the worldwide headquarters in Las Vegas and to kind of just recap real quick uh, we started this process by acknowledging and beginning a practice of gratitude, noting those things in our journal, uh, starting some uh, really solid core meditation that, you know, now I'm hoping that you're adding some themes and pieces to that beyond your clearing. Uh, we also talked uh, uh, quite a bit about forgiveness and the power and beauty and freeing of forgiveness. And then we finally just wrapped up a section about giving and what it means to give. And very personally, I had a, a tremendous experience with that just uh, last night and today about uh, giving and uh, uh, tried to, to put every piece of practice in play and it felt absolutely tremendous. Today we're going to take a, a new look at moving our emotional composition, our emotional energy along and helping you realize and unlock some really strong potential pieces and heal some old wounds. and. That one, this one is one that is very near and dear to my heart. It's about fun. I love fun. Let me say that again. I love fun. Laughter, smiling, is some of the most healing, releasing stuff you'll ever do. And before we get into pure fun and play and talking about all those things, I gotta tell you, here's gonna be our starting point. First of all, I want you to do this. I want you to think and really visualize what it feels like when you have fun. And I am so blessed beyond measure. I had an opportunity this past uh, Saturday to have some absolute childlike fun and it was unlocking and freeing and I'll tell you more about it later, but I gotta tell you, it was smile bringing energy driving stuff and everybody needs to do that because it has a great effect on you. But for today, I want you to acknowledge what it feels like, what it sounds like, to, what it looks like to have fun. Maybe even add that to your meditation, what fun feels like. And I also want you to do this. I want you to begin thinking about taking ourselves too seriously. And, you know, I know I always know this is kind of a tough dialogue, but, you know, we all do serious work, all of us. But you know what? There is no reason why we should ever, any of us, take ourselves too seriously. You know, I was uh, with a group uh, not horribly long ago, and you know, their their line was, "Well, we protect our community from." And it's like, well, yeah, that's great. That is really serious work. Now back off and smile and stop taking yourself so seriously. You know what? Life is way short to be grim and super serious. And plus, let me tell you this, let's throw in another benefit and add on to that too. If you're super serious about who you are and kind of grim in your, you know, in your importance in the world, I gotta tell you, that is not something that attracts people to you. It just is not. A little bit later in this journey, when we talk about manifesting and bringing things to us that we really want, you're not gonna get what you really want in that mode you're gonna project that other super serious people come to you and you're gonna be complaining about all the super serious people around you. Well, that's what you're projecting. So start the process right now of lightening up, not taking yourself so seriously and remembering what it feels like to grin and laugh and have fun. Tomorrow we'll talk about some more practices of playing and having fun and how that unleashes uh, your heart and move it, moves your emotional composition forward. Have a great evening, everybody, and I will talk to you tomorrow.